हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1071 एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रोल ऑफ ह्यूमिक सब्सटेंसेस एज ए न्यूट सोयल न्यूट्रिएंट so the topic is very interesting and we should try to understand what is humic substance humus substance is all the black material uh, or the decomposed substances uh, in the forest so anywhere where all the leaves from the plant some branches broken rotten and then some animals are decomposed and there and it is dying for hundreds and thousands of year and during that time within hundreds and thousands of years all these material together they are, they are decomposed and they are forming humic substances and once i say humic substance means it is the mixture of that is human plus humic acid plus fulvic acid these three components are there in that uh, organic matter and that we can also call it carbonic material or carbonic fertilizer i call them carbonic fertilizer because they are very very important they are very crucial for the nutrition of the soil as well as for plant and in uh, borno state when i came in the beginning so i was uh, resting the stream somebody told that usmanu is the son of the soil so the word son of the soil uh, is very interesting here and it is not only in borno state globally soil is the mother of all of us that's why they call son of the soil and your soil health is your health so we have to take care of the soil health and by the discovery of uh, urea which contains up to 45 to 46% nitrogen uh there was big uh boom of synthetic fertilizer and the production of a uh, lot of food grain but for every shining front there is black bag that synthetic product synthetic fertilizers they have done lot of harm to our soil health i call it soil health and if you remember my previous lecture i mentioned that there are 16 elements in some uh, research papers and literatures some of them they mention uh, 17 some are mentioning 18 elements and they are all carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen iron cobalt nickel zinc calcium magnesium potassium like that that is called your uh, soil nutrient soil must have all these 16 elements only then it will be healthy soil and then it is classified into uh, natural nutrient it is carbon hydrogen oxygen what we are getting from air and water then other soil that like is calcium and then sulfur potassium phosphorus these are all categorized as primary nutrient secondary nutrient i rest are micronutrient so that is about the soil uh, nutrition and soil if i am saying soil means the healthy soil must have the following positive things first thing is the ph of the soil is very important factor for the healthy soil second that is the iron exchange capacity water retaining capacity they are very very important 
factor for soil. And now I am going to uh, explain the deep chemistry of iron equilibrium and that plays very important role in, for the growth of the plant and even for the productivity of the uh, fruit and uh, flower. So once we are saying soil, I mean, so first is iron. There are two types of ions. One is called positive. This is called cation. And one is called negative. That is called anion. And positive. And negative. And if they are together, positive negative, they are known as opposite ions. There is cation and anion. Then they are attracted. And if it is positive, positive, then repulsion. Or if it is negative, and negative, it means again repulsion. So there is a, a big role of these ions in the soil uh, nutrition. And how they are going to play the important role because uh, if we are talking of the soil and plant, so plant is made up of root, this is soil, and it is having So this is root here, and this is uh, uh, soil, and this is plant, and this is leaf. So what is happening? Uh, the soil and root, soil, soil and and root, they are negatively charged. Remember it. All the plant roots, they carry negative charge. And the soil, they are carrier of negative charge. So they have negative charge. Now, the nutrient which we are applying like potassium or calcium or iron, like that. So, in that case, if suppose uh, potassium is coming here and it is all surrounded by negative, so definitely uh, the potassium positive will be attracted by negative and it will go because positive and negative will attract positive. So, it will go and there is exchange of iron, means once one positive charge is going one positive charge must be released. So that plant is releasing, once it is accepting one positive charge of potassium, what it is required, it will be releasing one uh, hydrogen ion that is H positive. And plant is having hydrogen ion, it is getting from air, from water. So it has enough hydrogen positive ion. So in case that plant is taking Calcium. So calcium is having two positive charges. So once calcium is going and it is uh, absorbed by the root, root will release two, will exchange with two H positive. Equilib equilibrium must be there. That is, in, uh, I mean, iron exchange. Iron exchange equilibrium must be maintained. Then if suppose uh, it is plant is taking ferric iron, Fe positive 3, in that condition it is going to replace, to release 3 H positive from uh, the plant. And you, I have already told you that soil and root, they are the carrier of negatively charged particles. And if there is density of negatively charged particles more around the root, 
then it will be difficult for positive charge to enter to be absorbed by the plant. So in that case, we have to apply more nutrient so that density of the negatively charged particles around the root in the soil should be less. So for that, we are using humic acid and fulvic acid that we are getting from humus. Humus means all the rotten material, organic rotten material, leaf, branch, uh, some animal excreta, animal all together when they are there, it is called humus. And when it is decomposed that humus, it is uh, broken down into uh, humic acid, fulvic acid and humic. This is the real chemistry of nutrition of the soil. It's the latest research, latest publication. This, this concept is latest. I have gone through a lot of research publication. And nowadays, globally, a lot of humic acid is sold uh, in liquid form. For example, to my understanding, maybe 2 liter. 2 liter of humic acid is sold if I calculate convert into Nera, roughly it will be 15,000 Nera for 2 liter. And this humic acid, this fulvic acid, which is uh, very, very costly, it may cost uh, 20, 15, 20,000 per liter. That material we can get in bono state, free of cost. I am talking as an organic chemist. How we can get the whole area that is um, that forest area where lot of notorious people were hiding. Uh, Submisa, they call it Submisa forest. It is hundreds of kilometers spread. And in that forest, for hundreds of thousands of years, all the humus materials are buried under the trees and forest. Just two, three inch of that material, just dig it, it's, that scrape of upper layer, bring it and change into granules by a granulating machine and pack it as a carbonic fertilizer organic and it is going to improve drastically the health of your soil in Borno state, not only in Borno state, in whole of the Nigeria and this uh, submissa which is disturbing element, my assessment is as an organic chemist, it can be converted into a uh, place of getting millions of bags of pure organic carbonic acid with lot of humic acid and fulvic acid material. And nowadays, these two materials, they are so important. The latest publications are given globally. If you go to Google and type all these substances, you will get the detail that they are maintaining these humic substances, humic acid, fulvic acid, the pH of the soil, the growth of the plant, the enzyme balance, also maintaining the equilibrium of the cation and anion, where it is giving uh, the more capacity of the uh, cation to be absorbed by the plant for their growth, and also, it is responsible of a retaining of the more water in the soil. So it has lot of, lot of uses for soil nutrition as well as for plant growth. So here I have given that, you know, I have already told you that humus substance, humus substance means all those rotten material in the forest or anywhere for hundreds and thousands of years, all the leaves are falling and animals are dying and they are deposited. That whole material after decomposed uh, into organic matter, that material is called humus after decomposition. This humus is changed into these three types of uh, organic substances. 
the one organic substance is called humin actually humin is the mixture of some uh, organic substances and that is water insoluble that is called uh, humin the other is called humic acid and that humic acid structure is given here and it is having uh, molecular formula c9 h9 no6 is it contains nitrogen and this humic acid is uh, one of the most important nutrient for soil and the third one is that is called fulvic acid i call fulvic acid the younger brother of humic acid because this is a smaller molecule and this is a complex molecule and this one is having one benzopyronucleus one phenolic and then again uh, pyronucleus and it is having molecular formula uh, C14H12O8 that is called fulvic acid this fumic acid and fulvic acid they are actually I can, I can call them the main uh, ingredient or component of carbonic fertilizer I call it carbonic fertilizer that is and this is organic in nature and this is very very important because I have already discussed a lot about the fumic acid and I have given here uh, the humic acid humic acid is very important if the soil is acidic if the soil is acidic then humic acid is not going to work unless it is uh, alkaline or neutral so far that if suppose your soil is having uh, less than 7 between 6 and 7 pH you have to apply calcium carbonate most of the farmers they apply the powder of the gypsum no don't apply a powder of the gypsum because that one is not very effective uh, neutralizing agent of acidity calcium carbonate is very effective and very easily lot of H positive ion is uh, I mean release and calcium ion is also released CA uh, double positive so the gypsum powder is uh, people are applying as a fertilizer but that is actually good for your crop because it can supply uh, some sulfate that is sulfur and also magnesium and calcium so that is uh, good for your crop not for controlling the pH of the soil so once pH of the soil is neutral by application of calcium carbonate then uh, the humic acid is the organic compound which is effective and which plays important role in the growth of the plant and to maintain the health of the soil humic acid may include nowadays people are supplying humic acid in the form of powdered coal then lignite and dark soil dark soil means they are rotted material is there and that is changed in the form of humic acid and uh, fulvic uh, acid nowadays they have started synthesizing some uh, derivatives some in the form of salt of uh, this uh, humic acid and that uh, product is available in market but here Bordeaux state is very rich source of humic and fulvic acid from uh, submissa forest because there is decomposition of millions of tons of all these humus substances in the form of uh, humic and fulvic acid because for thousands of years nothing is done and it is a forest and that material can be packed as a carbonic fertilizer organic one and can be supplied and this carbonic fertilizer which is the mixture of humic acid and fulvic acid is very very effective it can increase from 70 to 80 percent of your uh, crop production and also it can maintain the pH 
it is working as a chelating agent and it is uh, enhancing increasing the capacity of the plant to absorb more calcium potassium magnesium ions so that plant will be very healthy so this is a very very i mean uh, i can say creative uh, knowledge to convert your submisa forest into carbonic organic fertilizer this is my assessment i am repeating again and again let policy makers let nigerian leadership under the supervision of uh, organic chemists like us and let them convert all these uh, human substances into organic uh, fertilizer So here, uh, what is humus substance? The humus, uh, it is a dark organic uh, material that forms in the soil when plants and animal matter decays. I have already told you in detail in the beginning about the humus material. Uh, when the plant uh, drops leaves, twigs and other materials to ground, it piles up and this material is called leaf litter and when animals die their remains add to this uh, litter over time maybe for thousands of years this uh, litter decomposes into basic organic chemicals and many of these organic chemicals and elements are very important nutrients for soil and a living microorganisms in the soil that is the uh, what we call a humus substance then fulvic acid i have already discussed the uh, humic acid uh, the fulvic acid it plays important role in the plant health by helping plant nutrients to transfer from soil to plant it helps to improve the absorption of nutrients like calcium ion, potassium ion, magnesium ion, etc. And I have already discussed in the beginning that how these cations are accelerated, the capacity to absorb by the plant, it's because of the role of fulvic acid and humic acid in the soil. Uh, fulvic acid can uh, stimulate the growth of plant and can improve the crop yield also uh, fulvic acid and humic acid is important for plant health both they work together and fulvic acid and humic acid is found in soil and uh, water they are made of uh, humic substances and i have already told you that what are humic substances they are the uh, decomposed uh, material of uh, fallen leaves dead animals all together So, uh, at the end, I mean, uh, it is my observation and my comment that let the Bono leadership or political leadership, they should come forward and start producing carbonic fertilizer and Bono state is the, uh, one of the main source of humic 
सब्सटेंसेस क्यूबिक मटेरियल बिकॉज ऑफ द समिशा फॉरेस्ट एंड बोनो स्टेट इज हैविंग कैपेसिटी टू प्रोड्यूस मिलियंस ऑफ टन्स ऑफ कार्बोनिक ऑर्गेनिक फर्टिलाइजर एंड विच कैन बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल एज ए फर्टिलाइजर एंड टू इम्प्रूव द पी एच ऑफ द सॉयल हेल्थ ऑफ द सॉयल माइक्रो ऑर्गे ऑफ द सॉयल एंड इन दिस वे बोनो स्टेट डिजर्टिफिकेशन कैन बी कंट्रोल एंड दिस मेथड नाव एट देश इज वाइडली यूज बाय सऊदी अरबिया बाय चाइना बाय इसराइल to convert their desert into fertile land by applying these uh, humic substances by that is uh, fulvic acid and humic acid they are available in market in uh, synthetic farmer there is no need to go for synthetic one because naturally in millions of tons in borno state it is available so with this i will stop my good wishes thank you very much